A shortage of priests has been a problem for the Catholic Church for some time now. But Pope Francis now says he's open to the idea of letting married men become priests. Joining me now to discuss is Father Gerald Murray. Father, good to have you back on Justice. Now, I have to tell you, I'm Catholic. I went to Catholic schools, the whole thing. And when I heard this, I was flabbergasted. I didn't even call my mother because I didn't want to hear her because I, I know how she must feel. Now, does the Pope have the right to change this? Uh, he does if he wants to. Why? Where did this come from? Well, this idea has been around for a number of decades. After the Second Vatican Council, there was a lot of pressure to get rid of priestly celibacy. Uh, and really, it's part of a modernizing movement in the church that was rejected by Pope Paul VI and John Paul II, and Pope Benedict. Pope Francis now is opening a door, which I'm afraid is not the right door. That's not really where we want to go. So you don't support it? Not at all. I, uh, I like what we have now. Uh, but you know what? If I, I have to tell you with all due respect, Father, mm -hmm. you know, if I'm a priest and I practice celibacy for all those years, and then this guy comes in, he's married, he's got a wife, a kid, he does what I say to myself, what did I do this all these years? Some might say that I'm very happy the way I am. I love being a priest, and I don't mind not having a wife and kid. I would have gotten married if I didn't become a priest. But I don't think you want to upset the people of God, the church in general, by saying what we valued for thousand plus years of priestly celibacy is now going to become cast aside. Uh, the shortage of priests has to do with a lack of religious practice, not the fact that priests are married, uh, can't be married. Okay. So we have to increase religious practice, get people praying, go to church, all that good stuff. That's okay. how you solve the problem. So what would it take for the church to finally say, and by the way, I'm, I'm reading about this, and it says that already there are as many as 100 Catholic priests in the United States who, that are married. Who said they could be married? Well, the Pope, uh, Pope John Paul II, made an exception for Episcopalian ministers who wanted to become Catholic priests, and they were married. They allowed them to be Why? ordained. Why? Because they wanted to receive respect the fact that they were serving the Episcopalian Church as a minister and now they want to serve the Catholic Church as a priest. It was an well, exception. Why didn't they stay Episcopalian? Well, because they believe the Catholic Church is the true church and they wanted to be part well, of it. What took them so long now that they're married? I'm not going to question how long it took. I'm glad they converted. You know, that's my <laughs> point of view. But no, the fact is there are some married priests. We have married priests in Ukraine and Lebanon. There are places where married clergy have existed. Well, I know Greek Orthodox. Greek I have an uncle who is Greek Orthodox sure, who is married. Sure. But this is Catholic. No, no. The Catholic Church in the West has had priestly celibacy for most of its history and it's a fruitful and good thing. Remember, Christ wasn't married. I was just going to say, where did this all start? It all started with Jesus. Jesus praised those who gave up marriage for the sake of the kingdom. And as a priest, we're supposed to represent Christ. The most effective way is by representing him in all aspects of our life, our teaching, our way of living, and the fact that we don't have a wife. We're totally at the disposition of the church. You know where it goes from here? Tell me. I'm going to tell you. If married men can become priests, you know, then you have the wives, and, and I was reading that some of them actually, you know, counsel couples together, the wife, then you're going to have gay priests, then you're going to have women priests, you know, what, I mean, equal rights, right? I mean, uh, where's the Catholic Church going? Uh, put it this way, I am not a supporter of changing this rule. I think the celibate clergy is one of the glories of the Catholic Church. This allowed our missionaries to go out to the whole world and preach the gospel, not worrying about what their kids were doing back at home. Yeah, uh, you know, So this is where we should stay. All right. Father Murray, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Good to see you again.